All right, guys, it's Tuesday, September 27th, uh, about 9.30 at night. I uh, just figured I'd get you guys caught up here in what's been going on. Um, as you can see, I got the Barn Find Simplicity, the 4212 Hydro, on blocks or on, on lifts here. And I cannot get this rear tire off uh, to save my life. So I don't know what to do. So anybody have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. I've uh, put the uh, liquid wrench on and things like that and pounded on it with, a, uh, with the sledgehammer and the 2x4. Uh, but I just cannot, cannot get it to budge. Um, so any help would be appreciated. I wanted to update you on this trailer. I just got this. Uh, it was Sunday. Yes, I just got it Sunday. Um, it's old, but uh, it's solid. Um, got a couple spare tires. This tire's quite nice. You can see that. That's a peach right there. That tire's fine. And let me get around here. Got a couple jacks in the back just to hold it up if you unhook it. Lights are new. Get over on the side here. You can see those fenders are a little bit torn up and bent up. But she goes down the road real nice. So I need to paint it and get it out for sale. You can see this fender is kind of the same way. Bent up a little bit. It's bent up there. So it's really old. You can see that old kind of jack stand there on it or whatever you call it um, but uh, the wiring's all new and the tires are pretty nice pretty nice there you can't really see but they're they're really almost new it looks like to me I mean you still got the little thingies on the side here so <clears throat> that'll be a nice sell um, and here's the newest tractor. Uh, of course, it's a 4212, but it's just geared. Shifts a little hard. Front tires are pretty bald, you can see. Pretty bald. Um, other than that, it's real nice and clean. Well, it was clean until I got in the mud. Uh, not a whole lot of room in here. It's it's late, <clears throat> but uh, it runs really nice. You can see it's real clean. Uh, and it cuts real nice too. Um, let's see the typical gas cap is cracked and broken. Uh, since the last time, let's see, I got rid of the Bolins, both Bolins, um, and got rid of the Regent 12 with the snowblower. So that project is done and sold. Um, so I have a little, not a whole lot of room still, as you can see. Got them lined up here. With that Cub Cadet, man, I need to work on that. Really need to work on this baby. Um, according to my wife's uncle, I had been stored for about eight years in his shed. So it's it's been sitting. It's got some rust.
some mice doing their nesting. Um, it's just dirty. It's dirty and that bird crap on it and kinds of stuff. So I need to kind of mess with that a little bit at some point. See if I can get it running. Supposedly the carb was the problem. If that's the only issue, I'll be in good shape. Let's see what else. What else is happening? Oh, here's the Central Park that uh, got pictures of. Uh, battery is really weak on it, but uh, other than that, it's pretty darn nice for for fifty dollars. You can't go wrong. Got a Briggs. When I can't see that very well, but it does indeed have a sixteen horse Briggs. That was a steal of a century right there. Not sure what we're doing with that yet. The neighbor might want it. I might find a plow for it. I know there's a plow for sale. Not too far away with wheel weights and chains. I might try and pick that up and put a plow on it and sell it this winter. But I'm almost tempted to keep it too with that twin cylinder. Uh, she runs real good. I might have to get a video of that here pretty soon. Let's see what else. There's a deck off that Regent broken spindle that deck was is a piece of junk just horrible uh, I think that's about it um, well let's look at the Dynamark real quick hood would come off. Hold on one second here. Alright. The uh... Sorry guys. This one loves to Make fuel disappear. Well, all right. I lied. There's still fuel in there. Apparently, that fuel shut off is actually working. Um, <clears throat> this one will not start with the air cleaner on. It'll crank and turn over and turn over. Will not fire with the air cleaner on. Take it off. You take the air cleaner out. And it starts. Once it's running, put the air cleaner back on. It'll stay running. Um, the other issue is I think it, it floods itself out. So once you run it for a while, stop it, um, and then try and start it up again, it starts like it's flooded or acts like it's flooded so I don't know I think that must be some sort of float problem maybe you guys tell me um, not sure about that anyway there's more issues with this I got uh, electrical issues um, let me show you that real quick got the two wires that were that were going into a um, 
a little connector, a two plug connector. And then you have this, which was going into a one plug, one plug connector. And um, not sure how to get that to work. Not that I, I'm not, I almost don't really care at this point. I think I'm probably just gonna try to sell it as it is um, for like a hundred bucks or something, just break even money at that point. Uh, so that's another problem. Runs and drives fine, seems to cut fine. Um, the deck has another issue with it. The uh, there's a there's a cable that lifts helps lift the deck and it broke or was broke when I got it I got a new one for it and it doesn't seem to still doesn't seem to work and there's no way we're gonna see anything under there you can't see anything without a light anyway so I can't get that cable to work properly either I just have it being held up with um, that right down there. Just um, one of those thingamabobs, and that holds it up into one position only. Um, I mean, you can you can spin that and drop it down, but obviously it's not as easy as just grabbing the lever and pulling it. Uh, anyway, wow, I've rambled on for 12 and a half minutes almost. I think that's going to do it. Um, just figured I'd give you all an update what's been happening. And I appreciate everybody watching. Thanks. Bye.